Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how banking in Zoho Books can be used extensively from your iOS device. We will see how to add your bank account in your device from web app, match your bank fee transactions to Zoho Books, reconcile your accounts, refresh feeds from your bank, and look at various other functions in banking. To add a bank account, log in to your Zoho Books account from your iOS device. Click the More icon at the bottom right corner and select Banking. Here, you will be able to view all the bank accounts connected to this organization. To add a new bank or credit card, you will have to log in to your Zoho Books web application at this website. After logging in, go to the Banking module and click Add Bank or Credit Card. You will see a list of popular banks displayed here. You can connect with any of these banks or click connect now to connect with a third-party bank feed service provider. Let's select this option for now. You will have to agree to the terms and conditions provided by the end user license agreement to use the automatic bank feeds and click proceed. Now select any one of the third-party service providers such as Yardly, Token or Plate from the drop-down. The list of banks supported by Yardly will be displayed. You can select the bank or the credit card you wish to connect to Zoho Books. If you do not find your bank, you can select the other service provider and search for your bank. Enter the username and password and click Submit. You will be prompted to select the date from when you want to fetch the bank feed. Then click Add. Now Zoho Books will fetch your bank feeds periodically from your bank. After connecting your bank account here, you can view them from within your iOS app. Now, whenever transactions happen in your bank account, Zoho Books fetches the bank statement and displays them under Uncategorized. On clicking the bank transaction, you can choose to match the transactions from Zoho Books to your bank feed. Zoho Books will scan the list of transactions you create within the app using the transaction date and the amount of the bank feed and show them as possible matches. You can select the appropriate transactions and click Match to match the feeds to Zoho Book. Now, this transaction will appear with the status matched. Note that unmatching the transactions is supported only from the web application. There are cases where you have made or received payments and have not recorded the transaction in Zoho Books. In cases such as these, you can choose to categorize the bank feed manually. On clicking Categorize manually, you can choose the customer for the transaction and enter the payment details for the invoice. Then click Save. Now this transaction will appear with the status Categorized. In order to avoid accounting errors in your Zoho Books and your bank account, you can choose to reconcile the accounts. With reconciliation, you ensure all your bank feeds and Zoho Books transactions are mapped appropriately. Go to the bank account, click the More icon at the top right corner and select Reconciliation History. Then click Reconcile. Enter the start date the end date and the closing balance and click Start. Select the transactions. You will have to make sure your closing balance matches the cleared amount. Now you can reconcile your account. If your bank feeds are not fetched automatically, you can choose to refresh your feeds here. You can deactivate bank feeds if you do not want the transactions to be fetched from your bank. Besides all these, you can also apply default filters to these transactions and keep track of their status on clicking this icon and sort them as well. And that brings us to the end of the video. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. Do click the bell icon to get further updates from us. If you have any queries, feel free to write to us at supportplusmobile at the rate zohobooks.com and we'll be glad to help you. Thank you.